Hey guys, it's Shail Okimi and welcome back to my channel. So this is a very impromptu video. I've had the rubber for the Yurum Kiko that I'm about to do right now just sitting with me and I was like, why don't I use it today? So I'm gonna do it. I just finished washing my hair. So I'm just gonna put it on and I thought since I'm gonna do this for the first time myself, I might as well film it so you guys can see as well. So I'm really excited. This is what it looks like. Um, straight from Nigeria rubber. I'm not sure if they sell it. Um, I'm not sure if they sell this in America, but I'll put a link down below if you're interested. But uh, my hair is like very wet. I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I feel like it can't be that hard. You just wrap the string around. So I'm just gonna pull out a piece and we'll do this together. But yeah, I'll show you guys the results of like how this comes up. It stretches my 4C here. I have a ton because I am hoping that this works out and I plan to be doing this on a regular to stretch my hair because I'm planning to braid my hair after this. So I just want my hair stretched so that it'll be easier for me to do. Let's see. I also don't know how long of a piece of rubber I'm gonna need, so I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna grab it for one of the ends. Hopefully this doesn't tingle. Just putting leave-in in my hair before I put this on. And my hair is already detangled. Okay. I wanna do small is sections just so that the roots are stretched out, but I also don't want this to take me forever. So I'll do a piece like this big. We'll see how this will also be goes. interesting to see what my hair looks like um, stretched again now that it's been a while since I last did this. So I'm going to grab a piece. I literally did the voiceover <laughs> in the video explaining how to do it and now I forgot how she did it. How did she make it? Hold on, I'm going to watch my video and see how it was done and I'm going to come back and make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, I have with me and she- Okay. Oh, I sound clear on that. Okay, yeah. here we are. <laughs> the famous Yasukoi. Yasukoi. <laughs> the person who's doing that here. Let me fast forward to where she actually puts it in. And then when she gets to the very end, all the way down, the oh, okay. So the technique just wraps until she reaches the very end of my hair. Okay, doing this very wrong. Good thing I checked. She's actually using three pieces of rubber at the same time. Okay, so I have my three pieces. I'm just gonna grab it and try and twist the same way. Yeah, using multiple pieces makes it a lot easier. I'm just practicing it, trying to find the way that works best for me, and I'm about to explain exactly how I found works best. And as you can see, I'm doing mine super, super loose. You can make yours tighter so your roots won't be puffy, but I don't wanna make this even the slightest bit too tight. <sighs> okay, I got it down. I'm gonna use four pieces. I'm gonna take larger sections because I don't have time for this. <laughs> I mean, it's not taking that long, but I don't want it. I want this to be a very, very fast thing and I wanna test it to see if it still stretches my hair out well if I use big pieces. I'm gonna use a piece this big. It's not even that big, bigger than the first two. And I'm just going to, after I put one of the pieces, like put the one part down, I just wrap around. And I literally just twist down. Very, very simple. And you want to try and not skip over your hair. I thought skipping over my hair would make it go faster, but in the end, it won't turn out as good. So you want to cover all of your hair with the string. And my hair at this point is not that wet wet, and I think now that I'm using bigger pieces, I kind of like that so that when I take it down, it should be dry, so it's not like fresh out of the shower kind of wet. Well, I finished that thread so quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna grab more thread because I used that one up. If you ever run out of the string, what I do is I grab four more pieces, I put part of it hanging down, and then I twist around in the same exact way. And I'll show you closer up how I tie off the end on the next threading piece that I do. This just wearing it down could be a look. But I'm gonna do big pieces. I'll probably only do, I'll do one more right here and then I'll only do four or three on this side to make this fast. I don't want this to be a slow thing. And then yeah, excited to see the results. I had a good feeling as I was going through because I could tell that I was actually gonna stretch my hair a lot because you can see the shrinkage difference. <laughs> but to show you more clearly how I go down and like finish off the end, I just grab string and I hang part of it down with my hair and then I wrap the rest of it around and I use a pretty long piece so that I'd have a less of a chance running out and I just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it all the way down until I reach the end of my okay, hair. When I'm ending it, I just drop 
two and then grab the other two and twist around. So these two at the bottom is kind of like an extension of my hair. Twist it. And then once I get to the end, I just grab one piece and twist it around a little bit upwards. And then I just tie a knot. After twisting it upwards a little bit like that so the knot is up here then I do that like two or three times just like that and then I just cut off any of the excess so to complete the rest of my head I used slightly larger sections and then just twisted it in the same exact way that I showed you earlier it's coming together I've also seen people wear it like this where they leave the ends like this puppy like it could be a lot wow I can't wait to see what this looks like when I take it down. Okay, hey guys. So it's time for the final big reveal. I'm really excited to see how, how it actually looks. So let's do this together. Hopefully it came out, comes out good. I mean, I just wanted to stretch my hair so that it'd be easier to braid, but if it's also a style, that's nice too. I might just wear it like that. So let's see together. Hopefully my hair is dry because that was another thing I didn't know. Ooh, okay. So. If I just pull on it, it should come up perfect. Yes! <laughs> the satisfying part. Okay, wow. First impressions together. Okay, good, it's dry. That is pretty straight. <laughs> that is pretty dang straight. Yeah, it's essentially fully stretched. Look at that. <laughs> so this looks like before I brush it out. I'll comb it out later. Let me take down the next one. After I take down all of them and brush them out, I'm gonna wrap my hair um, and go to sleep. That's how I would always do it with my relaxed hair as well, especially when the brows transitioning. And I blow it out like my roots and then I would wrap my hair. Wrapping your hair does wonders overnight. I'll show you guys how I do it. Um, and you wake up, your hair is flat. So I'll do that with this and see how it comes out as well. When I first showed this, everyone was like, oh my gosh, I bet that's gonna take so long to take down. But as you can see, it is so easy. Okay, when I'm trying to show it, it's not doing it, <laughs> but it's so easy to take down. And just come back so I'm just proceeding to take out the rest of them in the same way that I'm showing you and then I'm like brushing them out a little bit with my fingers as you can see here and this is where I realized where I made a mistake so if you notice whenever I was putting in the string earlier I so with my hair generally I don't really use brushes I only finger detangle just because I find it to be a lot gentler and prevents breakage all that stuff but I wish I had brushed my hair fully with like an actual brush before I had put the rubber around it because I feel like my hair yes was detangled but like my hair strands weren't perfectly aligned in a way that whenever it dried it like didn't dry very smoothly and like I was running through tangles and like my hair does not feeling very felt just like rough and just like not I feel like it would have come out a lot better essentially what I'm saying is if I had brushed and aligned all of my hair strands before I had put the string around it and left it to set so I'm just going in with leave-in and detangling it more to just smooth it back out more and then after I'm doing that I prepare my hair to wrap it for the night so I am just combing it out a little bit more to make it more smooth and now I'm showing you guys how I wrap my hair so essentially I do the cross wrapping method where I take my hair divide it into two and just take one half and pull it over to the other side of my head and use bobby pins to pin that side down so this side is just the hair from my other half of my head that i wrapped around and then now i'm taking the other half of my hair from the other side and bobby pinning it up so it's like a cross wrap in the back and i'm bobby pinning it down so it stays in place, but I'm going to take the bobby pins out after. So this is what it looks like. And then I just put my satin scarf on top of it. And after I tie my satin scarf, I then take out the bobby pins so I can sleep without the bobby pins. And that is how I wrap my hair. 
And I did this so that I could help flatten my hair a little bit and like smooth it and get it ready to maybe wear it out. But it, I'm not sure if it flattened out my hair that much. Maybe you guys can be the judge of it, <laughs> but this is what it looked like the next day. And I was trying to decide, how do I want to style it? Because I decided I wanted to wear it out like this. So I was like, maybe half up, half down. But I ended up, oh, this is what it looked like from the back, all of the different angles. Uh, but as far as the actual results, it actually came out really, really well. And it stretched out my hair a lot. So I definitely think this is a very good heat-free way of stretching your hair. I'll definitely try this again and see if I come out with better results with um, brushing my hair fully first before I wrap it with the rubber. But I was actually pretty impressed with just how well this actually worked. It's giving crochet. <laughs> Crochet. Like I'd probably get a wig that looks like this. Let me know if you guys already use your Kiko or any version of this style like banding or using yarn or anything like that to stretch out your hair as well. I feel like it's a pretty good alternative to using heat. But anyways, yeah, I really enjoyed getting to see my hair like this and I was able to film the process for you guys and show you how the process goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe if you enjoyed this and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.